has only one level, or one exit in it. Let's not trip over our own leg this time. And... There's a fire flower in there. This looks oddly familiar to Super Mario Bros. 3 World 1. Hmm. Supposed to be some kind of remake of it? Yeah! I guess it is supposed to be a remake. And we got a feather in here. We can knock you out, though. So yeah, maybe there is a secret exit to this up here. Maybe not. Hmm. Maybe this was the normal exit, technically? Hmm. Yeah, it's the normal one. And what about the other door? If I know my Super Mario Bros. 3, the next room, the ceiling is gonna come crashing down on me. The ceiling is scaled to be a little bigger, though. Ah, but there is a door. And... a boss. What boss will we have? From what I see here, it's... And from what I hear, it's gonna be a big boo. Once again, make sure not to squander the other six blocks. At least here we don't have to worry about doing an underwater level. Ow! Ow! Okay. The instant I turn around, I'm in trouble. Alright, there we go. Right into the hole, Mario. Right into the hole. <laughs> now... A star road. What will it look like? Hmm. This time it's going to be in the clouds as opposed to on a really high mountaintop. And now, Lava Land 1. I can guess where this is going. We're probably... yes. We're probably going either up or down. Assuming I can go right first. Yep, there's a raft. And there's a Blarg. Along for the ride with Blarg. <laughs> Blarg must love it when there's when there are lava falls flowing down. It loves taking a shower. Makes it allows it to grow up, although it's not in our favor. Maybe in Blarg's favor, but not ours. Okay, so just coins in those. Some more spike tops. And thanks to the feather, I was able to hover down safely. Bones. What's with those bones? Well, I can get pretty high there. Is there something here? Okay, what's with? And what's up this pipe? Nothing. Okay. Now, another raft ride. And a little bit more slowdown. I wonder if this level, like, uh, like Vanilla Dome 3, is going to extend all the way all the way to become a really long room. I wouldn't be surprised. Now go for a slide. And up. Out we go to safety. To paradise. Paradise that Blarg calls hell. And what we call hell, Blarg calls paradise. Blarg is a perfect fit for that lava land. Hmm. And let's go up. I haven't unlocked the pathway yet, so... I'm gonna have to go back this way. I see that ladder up there. 
something tells me that once I unlock a top secret area, which isn't going to be much of a secret this time, indicated by the ladder, we're probably going to have another bonus level. I also see Big Boo's right there, and can I jump through that? Nope. How about up this pipe? Okay. How about down here? Do we have anything? We have the A coin. And. Okay, for a second I thought I made that boo disappear. That mid boo, I suppose, whatever it is. I don't know the name. Oh, and. A uh, big boo boss fight. This will probably lead us to the top secret area. So another one up yours. And... In your face. Sheesh. That did not come out right. Oh well. So... Where do we go now? Yep, we go up. So it is a top secret area. You know, having it on an island like that makes it a little bit obvious, you know. Thanks to Fasoya for Lunar Magic, thanks for all. And... Classic Fireball, SMW Fix, SMB3, SSP, Music. And... Special thanks, hacked by Alex No. Thanks for XGFX files and ASM files. Thanks to SMW Central, and special thanks to Players for Play. Okay, we don't even need to fight Bowser to see the credits. We can see them here. And we got easy access to power ups when you need them. Forget the big boo this time. There's something else. Wait, is this the only route? Is there something else? Because there doesn't seem to be anything beyond here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. More of this. More of this. To the left we go. And... There we go. All right. So now we only have to cope with a few yellow levels. Donut Plains 3. Don't really need to think too hard. No Yoshis allowed here. Okay. Gives, gives us a feather. An on-off switch puzzle. Hmm. What's the pathway gonna be? Let's try down. Guessing we need to press the off switch first. Then... The, um... How? How is this... How is this gonna work? You can add on extra difficulty to this level, considering... that, uh... I don't know, there's a possibility that the bushes and the lines could blend in. Okay, so... Stay at the top for now. Until we find another on-off switch point we're probably going to have to change or we change altogether from one of these platforms to solid ground and vertical bullet bills okay ow and now we have a mix of both this platform and solid ground solid ground in the form of bullet bills as it seems Jump straight to that one if we want. This one too. Koopas. And another A coin. Alright. More bullet bills. Now we're at the diagonal ones. Alright. And bricks. Just realized I haven't seen a single halfway point in this hack yet. At least I don't think I have. Let's see, first few levels started all the way back at the beginning when I died. Haven't, don't remember starting at a halfway point when I died. So, 
Haven't found any halfway points yet. If I recall correctly. Okay, so we got another scrolling scrolling pipe so that we can get that A-coin right there. And... Yep, we're playing around with them again. It's another one of those levels. Well, I missed one already, so... Yeah, they don't matter. A fishing Lakitu now. Let's not take his reward. Or better yet, let's reject his reward and knock him out in the process. As a punishment, now he's just going to throw spinies at us. Okay, we're underwater. Got a mushroom in this. And they're already awake. You don't need to whistle. Sheesh. What is with your attitude, Chuck? Okay. And I come out of a pipe that that has Goombas coming out of it as well. I didn't know Goombas could survive underwater. We'll keep running. And there's a goal right there. And there's a mushroom from that. But another bonus game too. Depending on where the tic-tac-toe term Cat's Game originated, if it was because it was a letter C when most people tied. Technically, I also got a C this time as well, but it was a little more square, so I ended up with three lines and got a three up. Mm. It's all a mystery to me. Okay. So we're back to the thwomps. And thwomps... As well as screen scrolling pipes, I suspect in one case I'm going to run into a dry bones by accident. Are we going upwards now? Is that what's gonna be? We got sideways spikes. Now we got saws. Just be careful around the saws. Hmm. Okay, and. Let me up. Let me up. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> Screen scrolling pipes as well as a layer 2 scroll. <laughs> they work well perfectly together. So perfectly that they'll throw me off. So, they work perfectly, but again, not to my advantage. How far do you go? That far? Wow. Wow! That's pretty far. Jump. And up. This continues on? Really? I'm bound to hit one of the dry bones after leaving one of these pipes. Please don't squish me. Good. Or maybe I might accidentally get hit by fire. Just to be safe, stand behind the Bowser statue. And yeah, maybe here is fine. And continuing up, now we got a springboard and another dry bones next to a green switch block, allowing me a feather, and allowing me a fight with Morton. Will it be standard Morton? Will it be just the three hits? Yep, three hits. Boom, you're gone. So, we'll get another thank you from another Yoshi. Egg. Who knows if that's even a Yoshi egg. Morton Cooper... Cooper? <laughs> Morton Coop, uh, Jr. of Castle Number 2 is now just a memory. The next area is the Iced Land. What traps await Mario in this new world? What will become of Princess Toadstool? Hmm. Alright. Yes, it looks like an Iceland to me. We'll do this next time. Mm -hmm.